Because, uh, sorry. Because, um, I'm sure you know it's inevitable that the community actually picks up the, uh, the leaders from their own ethnicity. Oh. So I just want to know, want to know how do you actually, do you, whether you can connect with the Indian community and how do you basically your take on the Indian community right now. And Because as, as you know, the majority of the Indian community speak Tamil. Yeah, so it's quite so important so. that you connect with the language and yeah. especially with the mother tongue, emphasis on mother tongue learning. Yeah. Yeah. So do you see any problems with நான் பள்ளியில் போகும்போது தொடக்க பள்ளியில் தொடங்கும் போது எனக்கு தமிழ் தீரவே பேச முடியாது வீட்டில் பேசவில்லை அப்போ நான் தொடங்கும் போது அந்த ஆஸ்டர் சொன்னாங்க அம்மாவை கூப்பிட்டு சொன்னாங்க இந்த பயணத்தை வீட்டில் எதிர்க்கிங்க அனுப்பினாங்க தமிழே பேச முடியாது அப்போ பாடுபட்டு தான் எல்லாம் படி படித்தேன் அதன் பிறகு வேலை செய்யும் போது தமிழ் அவ்வளோ பயன்படுத்தவில்லை அப்போ அவ்வளோ அப்போ அதனால் அந்த கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் வளர்ந்து கொஞ்சம் வளர்ந்து விட்டேன் ஆனால் இந்த எம்பிஎஸ் செஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் அங்கே போகும்போது இந்த சோங்பாங் இடத்துல அங்கே தமிழர்களும் இருந்தது மலையாளம் பேச ஆட்களும் அங்கே ரொம்ப கண்டேன் அப்போ அங்கே கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் பேசினேன் அந்த எம்பிஎஸ் செஷன்ஸ் அதெல்லாம் அப்போ அதில் நினைக்க அவ்வளோ பிரச்சனை இல்லை ஏதாவது நல்ல ஸ்பீச்சஸ் தமிழில் செய்ய சொன்னால் கொஞ்சம் கடினமாக இருக்கும் ஆனால் நினைக்க இப்படி எல்லாம் பேசினால் முடியும் couldn't speak any Tamil. I mean, my parents actually spoke only Malayalam at home in the early years, so I'd at least remember that. But they wanted me to learn Tamil in school because Tamil was the closest to my own language. Um, so I remember, like, you know, when I first went to school, the Tamil teacher, you know, called up my parents and complained, oh, why do you send this guy here? He can't speak any Tamil. And then I think my mom said, it's your job to teach him. But, you know, so through a lot of hard work, I actually studied Tamil in school and, you know, did okay in the exams. But when I started work, I didn't use it very much. But when I started doing MPS sessions, especially at Chongpang, there's quite a big Indian community there and large numbers of Tamils and Malayalis, which is, you know, my own group. I mean, I spoke Malayalam even less than I spoke Tamil. So my Tamil is actually stronger than my Malayalam because at least I can read and write. Um, but yeah, so I got to use a little bit of those two languages then. You know, what I'm telling them is I can't make a big speech on the podium, but I know enough to at least get by with the residents. Um, the second, I think the question is, you know, where do you, what do you think the state of uh, the Indian community is? I think... Um, in many ways i mean you know certainly i think the indian community has come a long way overall um you know i, I mean certainly in my family i think you know like my grandparents came down they had no university education nothing my parents have some university education um and i think that's helped um and i think even like you know a lot of people i see in chongpang a lot of the older generation there you know most of them don't have university of secondary school or whatever but you know like the children who are there you know, most of them have university education um there's one girl who's even doing her phd and you know she's just someone who grew up there in the grassroots and yeah has done quite well so i think the indian community is doing a lot better now but i still think you know there are some issues that they have that need to be dealt with and i think you know um there are we just have to keep more avenues open for people to do that i mean especially those who have trouble going to school when I mean, you still see some issues with broken families and so on and maybe that's just nps but you do have that uh, but i think that is not just only in the indian community you see that in other communities too so you know i think helping the members who are struggling any community is something that we all have to look out for Okay, I think you spoke a bit about languages, and you're on the committee that's fostering Malayalam, right? Yes. So, um, okay, at the moment in our education scene, right, most of the languages are North Indian languages, and I think that for South Indian languages, it's only uh, Tamil. Tamil, yeah. So, I mean, do you think that the time has come for more, uh, you know, Tamil languages, I mean, sorry, Southern Indian languages to be? Well, to be honest, I think, you know, um... I think it's good for people to know more than one language just because I think, you know, language opens the door to a different set of cultures, views, and so on. So I guess for me, you know, I mean, one of the things I'm a bit sad about is, you know, I really don't speak Malayalam. I can't, I speak a little bit. I can't read or write. So in that sense, I don't have that much touch. I mean, I was pulled onto this committee by other grassroots leaders in, you know, the Chongpang area because some of them were Malayalam speaking. And they were saying it'd be nice if, you know, we could give people the option to learn our own language. 
So I don't know whether that's part of a bigger trend for all groups. I think it's up to the individual communities if they can organize themselves to you know, try and do it. I think for the North Indian language, it was started by their own communities as well. I mean, the Tamils, they're the largest group, so you know, the mainstream system can do it. For the smaller communities, I think it's up to the individual communities. Um, yeah. மக்கள் <laughs> 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 ரெண்டு கேள்விலும் தமிழ அந்த முதல் கேள்விக்கு ஒரு ஏதாவது விஷயம் ஒன்றும் விஷயத்துக்கு குரல் கொடுக்கறதுக்கு அதற்காக இல்லை ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட என்ன செய்வேன் ஏதாவது அந்த இந்த லெஜிஸ்லேஷன் அந்த மந்திரிகள் தான் பார்லிமெண்ட்ல கொண்டு வருவாங்க அப்ப அப்படி கொண்டு வரும்போது நான் வழக்கறிஞர்களா இருக்கிறதா எனக்கு அதை எப்படி வேலை செய்யும் அந்த மக்களுக்கு என்ன நடக்கும் அது போல கேள்விகள் கேட்கலாம் அப்ப அந்த கேள்விகள் குறிப்பிட்டு தான் அந்த பாலிசிஸ் எல்லாம் அப்படி கொஞ்சம் அப்படி மாற்றுறது இல்லை ஷேப் பண்ணலாம் ஏதாவது ஒரு விஷயத்துக்கு இல்ல அப்படி அப்படி ஒரு சண்டை ஒன்றும் இல்ல மூணு வருஷம் ஆச்சு என்ன நடந்தது முதல்ல வேலை செய்ய தொடங்கும் போது வேலை மட்டும் தான் செஞ்சேன் அதன் பிறகு எனக்கு இந்த டிபேட்ல இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருக்குதான் இந்த பார்ட்டியில ஜாயின் பண்ணேன் அப்ப அதன் பிறகு தான் வேற வேற அவரு வேற மற்ற மற்ற ரெஸ்பான்சிபிலிட்டி கொடுத்தாங்க அப்ப அதன் பிறகு இங்க வந்தேன் ஆனால் அந்த முதல்ல ஜாயின் பண்ணது சும்மா அந்த நேரம் கிடைக்கிறதால தான் அதுவும் அந்த இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருந்தது அது ரெண்டு தான் <laughs> oh sorry um yeah and i was saying it in very bad tamil but yeah uh what is i think the two questions were you know what specific issues will you raise in parliament if you get in and two why did you join the pap so i think on the first point what i said is you know there's no sort of pet issues i have you know there's nothing i'm going to be banging the table for but i think the main value i can bring in is you know partly because i'm a lawyer uh whatever the ministers or whatever raise uh legislation you'll be able to ask the right questions and you'll be able to ask that you know with the view of your residents in mind to make sure that you know the policies stay grounded uh the second was you know why i joined the pap and i think you know my answer to that was yeah basically I, i've always been interested in debating and policy and you know when i had a bit more time i decided to join and then one thing led to another and you know I ended up here didn't quite expect it but yeah that's how it happened do um do you uh and then doesn't believe that singaporeans are ready for non chinese pf do you agree with and then oh um to be honest i mean having been on the ground i can see how difficult it will be um you know i mean like even for me you know i definitely need help from uh, i think a lot of other grassroots leaders i think for the younger generation for my own generation it is completely color blind you know and i've never faced discrimination nothing right but i think with the older generation i mean it's not that you know there's any evil or ill will or anything it's just that it's i think it is more difficult for a minority to you know say connect with a hokkien speaking or dialect speaking person um and that is a real concern i mean it's a concern that i have so yeah i mean you know i think i don't have the answer to that because i don't have the same sense the ground that mm does but i don't think it'll be easy yeah do you have aspirations to hold office oh gosh i mean not at the moment i mean even just i think doing the mp's work is going to be quite daunting you know i'll just take it one step at a time and i'm also mentioned that there should be a slowdown in the number of foreign born immigrants who become singaporean uh, he you know, he said there was difficulty you know, with some of them integrating uh, and there could be tensions in the future between Yeah, I mean, I have friends, I think both local born and foreign born. Um 
I think you're right. I mean, there are some cultural differences. I think one of the things about India, and this is probably different between India and maybe China, is that India has had you know different languages, different cultures, and I mean, if you go to different states and you see very different cultures, I think the South Indian states are more you know closer, right? So like you know the Malayalis, the Tamils, the Telugus, and I think all those three groups in Singapore speak Tamil to some greater or lesser extent. But the North Indians have a very different language, right? I mean, you know, most of them speak Hindi. So I guess there can be some cultural differences. I think it's not impossible to bridge. I mean, I get along well with both groups, but obviously there are differences, so you have to recognize that. Um, but I think you know, as long as people recognize and respect the differences, that you know, the issues should be something you can deal with. I am mentally prepared for the worst, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, I don't know. I guess I only deal with it if and when it happens. Um, I mean, I, I, I guess I'm part of the younger generation, but you know, I was almost dragged onto Facebook um, quite reluctantly by some friends because it would be a good way to keep in touch. And then slowly I got more familiar with it. But even then, I'm hardly an expert. I don't upload my own photos or anything because I still haven't figured out you know, what's the best way of doing that. So I think most of the photos there are photos put up by my friends. So I'm just more concerned you know, whether any of them would get the flag. I mean... I guess for myself, you know, I'm prepared for anything that comes. I just hope it won't spread too far out, that's all. <laughs>